Today I'm going to give a tutorial on how to memorise the dreaded mathematical proof using Anki. I'm going to go through three examples and hopefully that will help you cover all of the different things you need to know in order to memorise proofs with Anki. Before I start, the most important thing is understanding your proofs. If you don't understand your proofs, don't put them on a flashcard because you're just going to find it impossible to learn them. Another thing, not all the proofs you learn are going to be examinable, so make sure you ask your professors first whether they're examinable or not, so you don't waste your time memorizing proofs that you don't need to know. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the first example I'm gonna give is what I like to call a small proof. So for this, I'm gonna use the proof that if two coprime integers divide an integer, then their product also divides the integer. So open up Anki, click add, and then choose the card type as basic. And then on the front, we're just going to want to type prove that and then type in your theorem. Don't worry if it takes you ages to write up your LaTeX, you will get quicker at it, especially as you have to look up syntax for certain things less often. And then on the back, we're going to type the proof. OK, so one more thing to note is a great example to add details that helps you understand the proof. So, for example, here, we've used the fact that M and N are co-prime. So I might put in brackets since M and N are co-prime. And you can add this throughout the proof just to make sure you really understand it. Okay, and then we're gonna tag it as always, and then click add. The second example I'm gonna give is for a notation heavy proof. So I'm gonna use the proof that composition of maps is associative. So as you can see, there's lots of fiddly bits, lots of notation. So for this one, what I suggest doing is breaking it down into its essence. So same again, we're gonna use the basic card type. And we're gonna type up the theorem on the front. Okay, then I'm gonna put instructions for the proof on the back in a simplified form. So the first thing we do is state that the domain and codomain are the same. Then show that for all A in A, the action of, and then I'm going to copy this, paste that in to save some time, and the same here, the action of the first map and second map on A is the same. Okay, let's just have a look to see what this looks like. So we've got the theorem and then we've got a nice simplified version of the proof down here. Don't forget to tag and then we'll click add. The third example I'm going to give is a long proof. Make sure you check which long proofs are examinable and which aren't because you don't want to learn a proof that isn't examinable. Okay, for this, I'm going to give an example from algebraic topology, which is usually towards the end of the, your degree. So don't worry if you don't understand this proof. This proof is about two pages long, so not super duper long, but still very long. And you don't just want to dump the whole thing in Anki because it will be a nightmare. So what I recommend doing for long proofs is first understanding them completely. Make sure you understand everything. If you don't understand it, don't put it on Anki. And then break it down into key steps. So for this one, I've broken it down into four key steps. And I'm going to use them in Anki. Okay, so we're back on the add page and we're going to use card type basic. And then on the front, we're going to put give the steps in the proof of and then type in the theorem. Okay, and then on the back, you type in your steps. For this, we're going to use HTML built into Anki. So come up here and click these three bars and click Edit HTML. And then I'm going to put in an ordered list. So that's the start of the ordered list. That's the end of the ordered list. And then each element uses the syntax LI. So I have four steps for mine, so I'm going to put four of these in. And then I just put each step in each of these. So if we close that, it gives us our four steps and then we can type them up. 
Okay, once you finish typing up, what I recommend doing is copying the theorem and plopping it down under the steps, copying the steps and plopping that down under the theorem, and then cutting the whole thing. You will see why I've done this in a second. Then we can click add. And now we want to make a flashcard for each of the four steps. So these will be a lot smaller than putting the whole proof together, and they're a lot easier to remember. So I'm going to put what we've done before in the front card. Then I'm going to type the theorem is proved in the following steps. Give the details in step three as an example. And then I'm going to put this in bold because I think it looks better. And then on the back of the card, you're going to give the details of what you need to show in step three. Like example two, I recommend breaking it down a bit, keeping it simple for now. And then when you come to revise for your exams, you can practice writing the whole thing out. Okay, that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section. And if you want to see more like this, please click the subscribe button. And if you like this t-shirt, they're available in the description too.